All right, my friends. Hey, we're going to draw some snowflakes today. Miss Tosh, now let's see one. Oh, there's nothing in the book yet. I'm going to show you how to draw them. Ready? Okay, so I'm going to start with a blue crayon. Now you can do a pencil if you want to. I like to use crayons. But depending on how fancy you want to make them, you might want to make them using a uh, pencil or a pen. I'm going to use mine with uh, some paint in just a minute. So I'm going to use a crayon to help keep my paint in check. All right, so a couple different ways. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One of them, I want you to make a capital X, like a big X. That's as big as my snowflake is going to be, like that, okay? Then I'm going to draw a line right down the middle. It's going to go right through the middle of the X. So if you wanted to, you could go down from there and up from there. And then we're going to do the same thing across. You can start in the middle and go out, in case, just in case you make a mistake and yours is all wonky or something. All right, so... Our snowflakes can be a, any kind of different designs, but whatever you do on one of these little arms, you're gonna do on each one of them, right? So if I decide I'm gonna put a V shape on the end of one, I have to go around and do the same V shape on all of them. Don't make one V shape big and one V shape tiny. They should look the same. Try to make them exactly like you did, okay? <clears throat> Maybe I'm going to add more. I'm going to add a bigger one right here. Whatever I do on the first one, I have to repeat it. This is called radial symmetry. Radial symmetry means that it's the same in like spokes like on a bicycle wheel, that whatever you do on one, it does the same thing all the way around. That's radial symmetry. All right. So what else can I do? Well, I could, um, I could make little circles right here, add little doodly things like this. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to leave it right like that. So I'm going to show you another one. You can start with a circle. I can start with a circle, and then I'm going to draw a line up, like 12 o'clock, and a line down, like 6 o'clock. And then go through there. I just started from the middle one up and down. Then I'm going to go 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And then I'm going to do one here. This would be like 2 o'clock and 7, <laughs> 9, 10, 11, maybe 11, 10, 30. <laughs> and then down this way too, okay? Trying to make them evenly spaced. See how cool that is? Now that one has a hole in the middle. And I'm going to put a circle on the end of each one. That's kind of neat, isn't it? And I could put my V shapes here. The V shapes are like with the way the crystals, the water crystals freeze, and they make those little V shapes in there, right? That's pretty neat, I like that. That's kind of cool. I could even put a V shape connecting in here. I could do a V shape in here Oh, that's, I like that. Is that good? That's good. So, this radial symmetry means it's going to be the same. Whatever I do is going to repeat all the way around. These kind of look like little stick people, don't they? Ah, I got another idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I'm not going to do it. All right. So there's two different snowflakes. You don't have to put this in there, but 
you could connect these on top, right? Turn it into a diamond shape. Uh-oh, I bumped into the other snowflake. And I wasn't careful there. I needed to make that bigger than it, should, than it was. There, like that. That's pretty cool. I kind of like those. So the whole idea of this is if I draw with crayons, I can come back and I can paint the background of my snowflakes. I can use my watercolor paints and I can paint the background around them. If you're gonna do this, remember to have some uh, clear water clean water. Make sure that you are using a soft brush on your watercolor paints. Get your brush wet, <clears throat> wipe the drip back inside, and then get your paint. And I never start on top. I always start out here. Look how blue that is. I don't want it that blue. I need it lighter because my snowflakes are blue. So I'm going to just get water and come back here again. Mm, still. Still, still a little bit too blue. Oh, that lighter color, that's getting better. Maybe a little more water. Oh, that's better looking. Better still. I'm just gonna bring that around here. I can paint over the top of those. Let me get some purple. Ooh, I bet that would look good. Oh, yes. Now, when my paint is wet and I paint wet on top of it, it's going to mix together and make a whole new color. I'm going to go around my snowflake, though. I'm not going through it. Oh, I like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. If you have a white crayon, I would love it if you would draw some snowflakes with your white crayon and then paint over the top of them and see what happens. That's going to be cool. It's like a secret snowflake message. All right. Look how pretty that looks. Look how pretty it looks when there's the colors are kind of mixing together. Don't scrub it in. Remember to keep your paintbrush up on her toes. Ooh. And then some, ooh, look how it's bleeding across there like that. See how the paint is, oop, the paint is going in there. It's mixing together. That's pretty cool. Sometimes. If I want it to do that, that's good. I'm gonna get some more paint on my brush. Oh yeah. And look at it, look at it move. That's because it's wet and it's mixing with the water. So if I want that to happen, if I like how that mixes, I have to put wet paint on top of watery paint. Ooh, what's this? Oh, <gasps> look at the polka dots. Oh, oh, that's cool too. I like that. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Hey, make sure you have a paper towel. Clean your fingers. All right. Keep your brush up. No scooting booties across the uh, paper. No scooting boots. Keep your ballerina up on her toes. Look how pretty that looks with some of the areas that are dark and some of the areas that are light. It looks really good in the way that's kind of blending together. I like that. So that was really fast, wasn't it? And it made it look really cool. I'm going to get a little bit of purple and stick it inside. Oh, just inside there. I like, it. I like that too. All right, so there's two fast snowflakes. I hope you enjoyed making them. Do some more. Make some really cool stuff. Let me see them. I love you. Have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.